Good evening. I love a good. This is non illumination. Illumination and <laughs> intro. You do. We have another non park day ahead of us. But it's another fun one because we're back at the bugs. Take that, Dustin. Yeah, take that, Dustin. <laughs> we're not at the parks again. Um, we're, we started off by. It all started off by me coming over to fix one of our friend's phones, and it turned into we're gonna have dinner with all these people, and it's gonna be a good time, and we're all gonna hang out. But I'm gonna show you guys that I know how to fix iPhones, like crack screens. Um, it's like a hidden talent of mine. So that's like fact number six that I didn't say yesterday's vlog. It's seven, because six was that your middle name was Brian. Oh yeah, seven. So fact number seven about Peter Burkhardt, you didn't know, I can fix iPhones. You just break your warranty by doing it that way. So here we go. We got the LCD for iPhone. And I'm doing an iPhone 6S Plus repair. And I like to do this, and I'll go more details later, but I like to buy the pieces that have the camera speaker on the top and sensors and the home button on the bottom. I'm gonna replace the home button because these home buttons have to be original. The whole like security thing and Apple doing Touch ID, you actually have to use your original home button. So if you have one of these newer iPhones with a Touch ID and you break, like physically break your home button, you'll never have Touch ID again. So that home button will work for like the function of going home back to the home screen, but it will not work for the Touch ID. But I'm gonna swap it out with the original because my I'm not gonna tell you whose it is, but whoever's phones I'm fixing, I'm gonna um, swap out the home button so it'll still work. Last but not least before we hang out and or do this before dinner, look at this mess of tools I've collected over the years. This is a, a tool set that I've like actually are for four things, but every time I buy pieces, as you saw in there, like it comes with these little plastic priors to do non-conductive. Here's the thing to wear so you don't have shock on you. But here's my good tools. This is the one I use. Recording now, second time trying to do this. Here's the smashed iPhone 6S Plus Black. Space gray? Space Mac gray. Space, Space gray. gray, so yeah. sorry. You're gonna see how kind of simple this is. There's literally two screws on the bottom, which are pentalobe. Mm. Apple specifically made these custom, mm -hmm. trying to get people to not get in their phones. That's why anything on the bottom of a Mac, anything on the bottom of an iPad or an iPhone will be a pentalobe, but go to Amazon, two bucks. <laughs> so here's here's the tricky part. This is, the, I think, the hardest part of the repair. And they, whenever you buy repair kits, they give you these suction cups, and the thing is you go to suction cup it, but your cracks, don't let you and usually it just comes right off. But I dance a fire a little bit and I use this little straight edge here and I get underneath right where the screws are. You don't want to go by the home button because you'll smash it. You go on either side there and carefully pop carefully pop that screen up. And if you're lucky, like my friend here who did a good number on it, it should be kind of easy. <laughs> Now we're up to another very crucial point. You don't want to just rip this screen off because you open it from the home button up. You got to angle at like a 90 degree angle because all the connections for your front facing camera, your home button, your speaker, your actual LCD are all underneath here. Right, hey, let me get this out of here. So they're connected right there. Underneath this plate, I got to take these five little screws out and unconnect them all. And uh, that was trouble getting that screen off. And I'll show you why in a second. Did a not so fun thing. All right, I'm doing a terrible job doing a tutorial. <laughs> this plate here, this plate was holding back all the connections for your, all the sensors and microphone and camera and home button underneath that to make sure it was all tight and connected. And it's these here. It would make sure that these were all connected and good. 
And so for anybody who was freaked out by Apple security, one cool thing about Touch ID is literally the home button that came on your original phone had to stay there. So this home button on this new screen will work, but just to go back home, I'm gonna have to take off the home button off the original and swap it out on the new glass to make sure that my friend here's iPhone home button Touch ID will work. Next thing. I got the uh, the new home button on there. When we got this new screen, it says right on there, there is no, there is not touch ID fingerprint identification function anymore. But that's because they know that the one they give you is gonna be garbanzo beans. Now which one is the original? And I'm gonna carefully put the original iPhone button back in there, connect it all, put it back together, and make sure everything's all good. I always like to, to, to make sure I feel, make sure I, I get that click going on. Because this is all like tension, so you gotta make sure that's good. So it's one less step to have to like go put the screen back on and take it back up and risk uh, risk busting some stuff. So now is the important part. I'm about to peel off this blue plastic. Don't think your phone's that cool. It's actually just black. <laughs> but you gotta make sure you bend all these a little bit. Get a little pre-bend on there. Because that's what it smashes down like a sandwich. Any broken shards anywhere? Excess adhesive that'll bunch up and cause it not to lay flat? So far so good. It's always good to see the apple. I'm about to watch Josh Bug grill because I've actually only grilled with charcoal once in my life, really? post prom, and it would turn out to be terrible. Really? I'm always a gas boy. I did it when we were at summer camp. I did it every Friday after kids. I never went to summer camp. I played video games as a child. You did both? Yeah. Show yeah, off. Both. See what I did? What I have done before is I have done where like you put the charcoal on the bottom of the gas grill. Oh yeah. yeah. So like then it's gas, but you still get the flavor of a little bit of charcoal. Right. It's kind of like cheating, but that's, that's what I was about to say. That's called cheating. But I did um, it. We got all the charcoal ready. We got a gasoline dub. We're talking about Space Force. We're not using gasoline. We're living in gasoline. We're not using gasoline? Lighter fluid. Lighter fluid. <laughs> oh, true, true. I'm learning so much tonight. Where's the blue part? Josh and Tyler saw a phone get fixed. I'm learning how to grill with no gas. Or gasoline. And the Cubs won today. Did they? Oh, look at that. Home or away? Home. Nice. Get him, Lucy. She said, can I come out there with you? All right, what do we got going on here? Showing your briquettes. I like them to be all Ooh, nice. is it the official term, briquette? Yeah. Okay, learning. I like them to be nice and all uh, nice red down in the center, but you want them all to be white, so they have a nice like ash gray to them. Reminds me of like Mordor. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, so you want to throw your burgers in the Mordor. <laughs> Let them cool off for a second, and then that was my mistake. I was I was taught that the perfect temperature to start throwing meat on is get them all spread out, and you want to be able to hold your hand here for five seconds before you have to pull it. Oh, technique. Rule of thumb, my granddad said, so it's probably fake. So. <laughs> <laughs> we'll live by it though. Look at the girls have been organizing. Sarah, I think, did this. I don't know if she did. She did tomatoes, but they've been prepping the veggies. And apparently from brownies, pumped about that. Didn't know that was happening. Did you do the onions too? Yeah. Sarah, what did I just come inside after Tyler showed me and freaked out about? Instagram TV. Yeah, it got announced today. How are these looking? They're looking Pretty juicy. Good. Yeah, yeah. I'm surprised they uh, be cooking really well. Ooh. That's better than BK. You're better than the BK Lounge. Ooh. So that, that's, a money, that's a money shot right there. The smoke coming up. Little, little light from the flames on your Orlando City shirt. Right. 
What does that hat say? That's right. Super dad, super dad. Are the burgers in here? Bottle Sprite. Wow. Beautiful. <laughs> this is better. Oh, here we go. Oh, you ready for the slide? Ooh. Ooh. This looks weird. This is priority. Oh, look at this display. Oh, you know, just being, just being a vlogger. TV -er. Ready for some HD? It's a Whoa. <laughs> Those are cute. I guess this is a thing. It's their food talk. I took one barbecue chip, and Tyler took it from me. This is my only chip. There's a whole bag in front of you. Tommy time. Like Tommy time with Tyler. Really like We're still working on it. <laughs> it's a work in progress. Yeah. We'll get there. Do I have to play on my trainer? Can I play on any trainer? Play here or here? No. Yeah, okay. Play on the You're supposed to play on the first you can. What's the advantage? I was not in this vlog today. You weren't. <laughs> I was. He was. This was. Hey. The girl was. Tyler was. The girl? Who's the girl? There's the girl. There's the girl. <laughs> There's the girl. <laughs> the, and that's why you're who's the winning girl? <laughs> what are you doing? Playing <laughs> in the bedroom. Playing with my fries. That's why you're Have a good night, guys. Lady's such a good doggy. <sighs> This excitement is for many reasons. One, it is 1.37 in the morning. It is way too late for me to be up. Sarah fell asleep a while ago, but it's because I got distracted. Uh, I was so excited today for Instagram's announcement. They were supposed to announce, people kind of anticipated what it was gonna be. It's supposed to be long form um, video upload. So you can upload up to 4K, up to an hour long videos on Instagram, what they're called Instagram TV. So if you haven't updated your Instagram app, update it and check us out because we haven't figured out how we're going to do it yet. Um, I think I might take ownership of it because Sarah takes care of a lot of it, most of the other stuff and I don't want to add another like medium for her to and we can't, I don't think we're just going to be able to just upload our daily vlog on there because um, it's got to be a certain orientation, certain uh, file size and everything like that. We're still going to have barely looked at it but what I did do tonight, which is why I'm still waking up is I uploaded our four monthly recaps that Sarah's made and I uploaded our wedding video. So if you go to our Instagram TV, like you, we will have at least those five videos up there. Um, gotta figure out how our Instagram TV is gonna look. Um, yeah, I gotta play with it, but I'm super excited. Check it out, check out the videos that are there so far, especially the wedding one because that not maybe all of you have seen. I know we posted it in a vlog sometime like five or six months ago. We posted it on the old YouTube channel, but Super excited to see what we can do with the Instagram TV. There was something else I wanted to say. It's good to be home. Wait, 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 wait. I remember. Go to thebrookartproject.com. Check out our new t-shirt design. Sarah dropped it this morning. It is our food and wine shirt. Get it now so you can have it for your fall trips for food and wine because it's less than two months away. So you can be walking through the turnstiles at Epcot, looking at Space of Perth going, food and wine? Food and wine. Everybody loves food and wine. If you don't know what that is and you're newer to us, if you started watching our vlog in January or on, or really December on, you may not know what that is. You have to go back and look at some of the old uh, food and wine festival vlogs, but that's a little jingle that I, I don't know how it got started, but uh, it's a little jingle I say when I go into Epcot for Food and Wine Festival, and that's only two months away, so Sarah was inspired by that, and uh, some people were asking for it and suggesting and hinting at it, so Sarah designed it, and it's up, and we've got, I think, two more shirt designs that we're going to be releasing, one probably soon-ish, 
and the other one has got some work on it still but soon hopefully in the next month we'll have a whole including food and wine three whole new more shirts so that's exciting um, let us know what you think of the merchandise uh, if you get a chance to check it out you can go to our facebook page and see it or just the brookhartproject.com once again it's good to be home we know what our goals are we know what we hope to accomplish and believe me it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at walt disney productions <laughs>